Hello, this is Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. Thank you so much for your time. I am continuing with the investigative series regarding the Black Lives Matter chapters and entities. In this video message, I am focusing on the Black Lives Matter Lansing, Michigan chapter, and I'm asking the question, where is the money? Again, I'm Susan Woods, and I am a nonprofit consultant. So please allow me just one moment of your time to tell you a little bit about my background so that I can establish the reasons why I feel qualified to talk about the Black Lives Matter chapters and entities and how they operate. Again, my name is Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. I started a nonprofit organization called Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated in 2003. I officially earned 501c3 status in 2006. I operated two programs underneath the organization. The first program was called Panorama Computer Learning. Through that program, I taught displaced manufacturing workers how to use computers. I traveled around to different churches and community centers and taught people how to use computers on the laptop computers that I provided at no charge. The second program underneath the Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated nonprofit umbrella was the Emerging Leaders Mentorship Program for Black Male Youth. And it was a program in which I served as executive director and black men taught young men between the ages of 10 and 18 years old leadership development skills. I've earned three nonprofit management certificates, one from Duke University, one from Wake Forest University, and one from Winthrop University. I'm also a three-time graduate of Winthrop University. I earned a Bachelor of Science degree and business administration, a Master of Arts in Teaching business education degree, and a Master of Business Administration degree. I teach nonprofit classes. I teach them in person and online. I teach people how to start, fund, manage, sustain, and reinstate 501c3 nonprofit organizations. I also offer a very popular grant writing masterclass online. Finally, I complete the Form 1023 application for recognition of exemption for clients across the United States. Since 2010, I've completed 112 application packets and I've earned a 100% approval rating from the IRS on behalf of my clients. So again, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background information about me so that I can try to establish credibility to provide information regarding the Black Lives Matter chapters and entities. So this is episode nine. And this episode again pertains to Black Lives Matter, Lansing, Michigan. And I'm asking the question, where is the money? And I'm talking about the money that people donate to this Black Lives Matter chapter. Where is it going? How is it benefiting the community? And this is an investigative series. Here are the Black Lives Matter chapters that are listed on the blacklivesmatter.com website. And again, we are focusing in this video message on Lansing, Michigan. I've already uploaded video messages for all of the Black Lives Matter chapters above, listed above Lansing, Michigan. Here are the questions that I answer throughout the investigation or at the end of the investigation. The leadership names, who's in charge of Black Lives Matter Michigan or Lansing, Michigan? What's the mailing address? What's the phone number? What's the email or social media? Is it registered with Charity Navigator? What about GuideStar? Are the Articles of Incorporation filed with the Secretary of State's office? Does it have a 501c3 status with the IRS? Does it accept donations? If so, how are the donations allocated? Where is the money? And does it provide financial transparency? 
So I answer all of these questions for you, but rather than just showing you the answers right now, I would like to show you the steps that I take to learn the answers because I want you to see that I'm credible about what I'm saying. I want to prove to you that I have done my homework, that I have investigated this Black Lives Matter Lansing, Michigan chapter. So I'm going to pause the screen for just a moment to pull up the Black Lives Matter Lansing website so that we can answer some of these questions. So just one moment, please. Thank you. I appreciate your patience, but I think it's so important to prove what I'm saying. So thank you for your patience. Be with you shortly, very shortly. Okay, here we are. Now, this is the Black Lives Matter Lansing, Michigan homepage. And the questions that we're gonna answer are as follows. Who is in charge of this chapter? Who are the leaders of this chapter? So let's see if we can find out. Normally on any website, you will have the leaders presented on the first page of the home of the home page, rather. I don't see anything about leaders on this page. I see information about Black Lives Matter Lansing, sort of like an overview. It tells you since 2013, we have successfully centered the business of Black folks in Metro Lansing in the hearts and minds of neighbors, elected officials, and institutional leaders. I'm not gonna read all of that because you can go back to this site and read it yourself. I'm still looking for um, information about leaders, leadership contact. I don't see any information about leader contact, so. I'm going to let's look let's let's look here at the bottom of the page. Let's look at the bottom of the page for this one, Mom. I'm going to zoom out just a little tad so that you can see it better. Now this is the bottom of the page of the home page, and it says copyright 2020 by Liberation Pack. Now, if you're trying to make a donation to an organization, the last thing you want to experience is confusion. Now I'm confused right now. What is Liberation Pact? And it says Liberation Pact is a 501c4 affiliate of One Love Global. What is that? You see, this is why it's confusing. Now, I don't know where my money is going because I don't know what One Love Global is. So I'm going to click on One Love Global. And this is One Love Global. So it's Black Lives Matter. Michigan statewide protest and rally, celebrate, educate, envision, mobilize. Okay, I don't know. So you see, I'm, I'm getting lost. And this is a point that I'm making. This is a point that I'm making. There is no transition. There's no definition. There's no explanation as to what this means. What is this about? So I'm gonna go back to Black Lives Matter, um, Lansing, Michigan. And we do have a contact at joinliberationpack.org. So liberationpack.org is the website. Donations may be made to Liberation Pack and mailed to this address. Okay. So we know that for right now, we understand that Black Lives Matter is not standing on its own. Apparently, it's an affiliate of One Love Global, which I don't know what that means. Let's look at partners and initiatives. You have Black Lives Matter Grassroots, Black Lives Matter Michigan, and Black Lives Matter Lansing, and then Black the Vote. So I'm going to click on this link to take us to, okay, it's taking us back to Liberation Pact. And then it takes us to these partner organizations that's listed here. You can check them out if you choose. But it says Black Lives Matter Grassroots is a formation of Black Lives Matter chapters in the US and Canada who organize and build Black political power with our communities. Black Lives Matter Michigan works to dismantle structures that end or limit Black life. 
And then Black Lives Matter Michigan, which is the focus of our conversation, builds capacity for collective action to show up for Black families fighting for justice, dignity, and for our lives. This is a lot of talk, but I don't see any action plans at all. I don't see anything that shows me how anything is being done. Now, going back to Liberation Pact, Liberation Pact is a 501c4 action fund supporting electoral justice and Black political power. We build campaigns and encourage aspiring elected officials who are committed to transformative justice. Where is the action here? This is a good opening statement, but it would be nice to have a link that says, how do we do this? Or something like that, because I can't follow money with generalities. So that's, okay, then you click on O oh, contact, and then you have a sign up receive action updates from Liberation Pact and stay informed. So this is the gist of it. This is Black Lives Matter, um, Lansing, Michigan. So let's go to IRS.gov and let's see if Black Lives Matter in Lansing, Michigan is a registered 501c3. So just one moment as I pull up that information. So we are at the irs.gov website. And on this website, you will go to tax exempt organization search. Anytime you're searching for information about an organization that's asking for money, this is the first place I go. So I'm gonna type in Black Lives Matter. And you can see that I've typed this in several times and I'm typing in Black Lives Matter in general so that you can see the list of Black Lives Matter entities that have registered with the IRS for 501c3 status. Now, these, this is a list. There are 13 showing one, two, one through 13 of 13 results. And there is not, I'll just go ahead and tell you, there is not a Black Lives Matter Lansing listed here. So the Black Lives Matter Lansing chapter did not file for 501c3 status. We know that already. Okay, so I'm going to look up the Liberation Pact to see if it has 501c3 status. Oh, I'm sorry, 501c4 status as it said it did. So just one moment, please. Since the Black Lives Matter Lansing chapter stated that they are affiliated or work under Liberation Pact, then here's Liberation Pact in Lansing, Michigan. So Liberation Pact, here's the EIN number, anytime you want to find information out about this, and it's in Lansing, Michigan, Michigan. And this lets me know that it, they filed a Form 990 in. So let me click on Liberation Pact. And here is the tax year 2018 Form 990 in e-postcard. Just a little bit about Form 990-ENs. Form 990-ENs e-postcard are used by people or organizations that earned less than $50,000 in the year indicated. So here in the year 2018, Liberation Pact earned less than $50,000. That's what it means. So the principal officer's name is Angela Waters Austin. So since Black Lives Matter, Lansing is operating under the Liberation Pact umbrella, then here's information that we can use to reach out to Angela Waters Austin because she is listed as the principal officer for this organization. But again, this organization in 2018 earned less than $50,000. Now, they have not filed their Form 990 for tax year 2019 yet. So I'll be interested to see how much they earned for 2019. So since Liberation Pact is the organization that is governed by, um, I'm sorry, since Liberation Pact governs Black Lives Matter Lansing, let's go a little bit deeper and I'm going to search for 
Liberation Pact with the Secretary of State's office and see, check out their status there. So just one moment, please, as I do that. Thank you. Okay, so we're at the Secretary of State's office for Michigan. Anytime you register with the IRS, you should have a registration of filed, your filed articles of incorporation with the Secretary of State's office in the state in which you operate. So Liberation PAC should come up here. So I'm just curious to see uh, what their status is with the Secretary of State's office. Okay, so let me, um, let me search, I can search. Okay. Entity name. Okay, maybe I'm not doing it right. Okay, so Liberation Pact is not listed with the Secretary of State's office in Michigan. So let me go back and let me see Black Lives Matter. Let me see if it's listed with the Secretary of State's office. Why is this important? It's important because when you're giving money to an organization, you want them to have a good status in the state in which they operate. And it's not listed either. Okay, so that answers that question. There's no need to check to see if they're listed with Charity Navigator or GuideStar because they would need to be listed with the Secretary of State and the IRS in order to be listed on those two platforms. So let's go back to Black Lives Matter. I'll try to get back to Black Lives Matter. I may have, to, may have to type it in again. So just one moment, please, as I go back to Black Lives Matter. Thank you for your patience. Now I am back to Black Lives Matter. And I wanna answer the final question about donations. Are they accepting donations? When I click on the donate button, here's another, here's another, here's another thing that I don't like. It says donate to Liberation Pack, right? However, Act Blue is the organization that's serving as the pass-through organization for the money. What I mean by that is when you donate to Liberation Pact, it's not going to go to Liberation Pact. It's going to go to Act Blue. Act Blue has become a very popular pass through organization, meaning they are very popular with accepting financial contributions on behalf of politicians and on behalf of organizations. Doesn't have to be 501c3 organization. It's organizations that want to have them process transactions. Now, Act Blue is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. However, its primary mission, a primary purpose is to process money, quite frankly. Process money. And if you think they process money for free, you are wrong. Act Blue processes money and charges a fee to process the money. So let's take a moment. Let me pause the screen and I want to show you what Act Blue looks like, their website. It's, it's, <laughs> this is so convoluted. It is so convoluted. Um, these, all of these steps you have to go through in order to support an organization. It just, it's ridiculous. So let me let you look at Act Blue. Just one moment, and that screen should be displaying for you. Okay. So here's Act Blue. This is the Act Blue screen, and it is again an organization, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that's sole purpose is to process transactions. It's a fundraising tool, it's a fundraising platform. Okay. It's a fundraising platform. So when you process your money through this organization, then that's, that's where your money goes. And after that, I'm not quite sure how the money gets back to Black Lives Matter Lansing. I, don't, I, don't, I, can't, I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still trying to follow along, but I can't figure that out. So let me click on Get Started right quick so that you can see um, what they do. 
So you are either a candidate running for office or a political organization or 501c3 or 501c4, okay? And this is what they do. This is what they do. Let me look at Act Blue Charities. I, I want to see um, some of the charities that they do help. But you can go back out here and look for yourself and see um, the charities that they do support, a list of them that they do support. I want to look at pricing, and then I'm going to leave you alone as far as Act Blue is concerned. How much does it cost? 3 0.95% transaction fee on each contribution. That's not bad, is it? On each contribution made to all of the platforms they support, all of the political candidates, all of the organizations, everything that they process, they charge 3.95% per, transa transaction fee. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know, going back to Black Lives Matter, I want to let you know that um, this is a convoluted site. Everything is confusing to me. I don't know where my money will go. It's passing through too many hands, and that makes me uncomfortable. So I'm now going to stop sharing for just a moment, pause my sharing, and I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and wrap everything up. I hope that you are getting something out of this, out of this information that I'm sharing with you. Um, so I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and just reveal the answers of the investigation. Okay, so just one second, please. It's coming up now, so just one moment. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so now we're back to my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to reveal the answers. So here are the answers to the investigation. Leadership names, no, unless you count the young lady who is the leader over Liberation Pact, but there were no leaders listed for Black Lives Matter Lansing. Mailing address, there was a mailing address, no phone number. They do have social media and email. Not listed on Charity Navigator, not listed on, not listed on GodStar. There's no Secretary of State filing status. They don't have 501c3, but they are using Liberation Pact, which has a 501c4 status. Donations accepted? Yes, they are accepting donations, um, and they show what they've accepted. They show that in 2018, they earned less than $50,000. Donations allocated, or where is the money? Don't know, not shown. Financial transparency, I would have to say no on that. So these are the answers to the investigative questions. Now, again, I have been investigating all of the Black Lives Matter chapters and I'm up to Lansing. And this is just a spreadsheet or display of the results so far from the chapters that I, that I have investigated thus far. So um, you can see for yourself the answers to the questions, okay? I wanna point out that donations are allocated, none of the chapters that I've investigated so far show you where the money goes, none of them. Under Denver, where you see IRS 501c3 status, the R means revoked. Now that's, that's a very good point here. The status is revoked. However, on the next line, they are still accepting donations. That's fraudulent. Okay, that's fraud. That's a big red flag. Where I stand, you know, I've been criticized, and I expected it when I started these investigations. I expected people, particularly people in the black community, to criticize me for doing these investigations. One lady even said that I am contributing to the division within the black community. These investigations are, are causing division. And I, you know, that makes absolutely no sense to me. I'm doing these investigations because I want the world to know 
that Black Lives Matter, the chapters that I have investigated thus far, are not doing a service in the Black community. They're not providing a service in the Black community that I can see. I'm not seeing any paper trail or money trail that shows me tangibly that the money that people are giving to Black Lives Matter actually benefits the Black community. So where I stand, here's where I stand. I support Black Lives Matter social activism. activism. It makes me proud to see diverse groups of people marching for change under the Black Lives Matter banner. I do not support the Black Lives Matter chapters and entities because they do not have formal leadership structure, measurable goals or objectives, common operational practices, financial transparency or accountability, or any valid sustainability and long-term plans. That's where I stand. Subscribe to my YouTube channel today so that you can see what's coming up next. Episode 10, I'm focusing on Black Lives Matter, Long Beach, California. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.